out of it yet. Well, it's springtime in Alaska and we decided to take a trip, the first trip of spring to our cabin. I think it's gonna go okay. We, as you may know, we don't always successfully make it up here. It's early in the season and so the water is a little bit low. It was a little bit lower than we were anticipating and we clearly did not know there was going to be icebergs on our journey. So we still have a little more to go. I'm not quite sure if we're going to need to hop out. Sometimes we have to hop out and actually tug our boat or pull our boat upstream. I'm already completely saturated for the day. Eric has some waders on, but he's a little bit wet too. We've had some lunch. It's about midday. It's beautiful weather out here. And we're gonna keep, keep going and see if we can get up there. We're getting close, we are, but man, this has just been crazy. Ice on these lakes, this is just insane. I hope we make it this time. <laughs> Some more ice coming up. We're gonna have to go around it on the side. Okay, pretty slow. Those are thick. We came up here to do pike fishing. Pretty early season. We're gonna see if we can get some. I love this little frog lure. This one sits on top of the water. It's called a top water lure. Let's see if we can get anything to bite already. Oh, there's not a lot of weeds in this channel. Let's see. That looks like a rock right there to the right. Well, the rapid we usually have to get out and pull the boat through, we honestly didn't even recognize it this trip. We went right up it. The water's super high apparently, and we're not really noticing it until now, kind of further up this creek system. Let's do some more fishing. We're almost there. I might switch this over to a, a spoon if I don't get anything pretty quick, because they might not be biting this top water. We made it! There was more ice, but we're here. Last time we came just once over the winter season, we had hoped to come quite a bit more. And when we left, we did do some bear preparation, but we had just expected to come back and we weren't able to because of the winter we had. So we haven't been back here in a long time and we're hoping there's no bear damage. I don't think there will be. I can see it right now and it doesn't look like there is. And I am cold and wet, so we're gonna get inside and make some coffee and start a fire. Grab the old men. Okay. Can you grab? <laughs> Hopefully there's no bears up there. I'm gonna grab the shotgun. Okay, are you gonna come play? Up. <laughs> you went through so much ice. I have some of Man, I thought it was crazy out at Nick Glacier. I think we got a lot more experience out there and a little better out here, you know? Let's go. Oh, it's, it's warm. It got really warm. You right felt here. that warm air too? Me too. It got like hot. That was weird. That was extremely nice. Yeah. Everything's looking good. Look, the ra the stuff's already growing. Yeah, I know. There's so much more green here than Is this a raspberry? The there's tons of raspberries growing. So there's no snow left here. Oh man. We have more snow at our house. I know. Yeah, the chimney the chimney didn't fall off. That's good. Dang, right? Unless there's animals on the corner. 
Nothing new? Not new so far. I don't see any damage. You found snow. Looks good. Oh. Yeah, a tree fell back there. This one fell. Wanna get in there, dude? Let's get you some water. Nice. Looks great. Awesome. Ah, smells the same. Okay. I always forget which way the flu is on this stove. Well, we knew coming up here this trip that Arrow was gonna get wet. Her waders that she has, they have like some major leaks in them. So we decided to just give her some old tennis shoes and she was gonna get wet in the creek and then we were gonna dry off when we got here. I brought my waders. Unfortunately, my new waders, they have a hole in one of the legs. So I got wet too. We're gonna have a little fire going here. It's not too cold outside, maybe like 50 degrees, but we wanna dry our clothes and we got a little clothes rack. So we're gonna get our stuff dry for us. You know, that's gonna burn really quick in here, so that'll be good. It's gonna be perfect. Man, this stove is so sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like on fire in the back right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my gosh. So pretty cool, our chimney that we put in, we put in a new wood stove and we ran the chimney straight through the roof. It survived the whole winter up here without removing any snow from the roof. So this has a metal roof, so it does shed. And we put up, dang it, I can't remember what the piece is called, but it's a little, uh, I think it's called a snow break, right before the chimney. And it stayed up, so it's awesome. Little Java, this is called Death Wish Coffee and it says the world's strongest coffee. Not a morning person, not a problem. It smells pretty good. So we got a couple cups here and we're taking them to go. We're heading back out. All right, Bo, we'll catch one for you, dude. I'm gonna pick something, something good here. We're gonna try with something with a, that makes some noise. So this is like a rat and it's got a rattle in it, treble hook, nice rubber tail. Look at those rubber feet. And it's got this little uh, nose on the front. This thing might, says you can either work it on top or you can crank it in and it'll, it'll dive down. I'm gonna try this one. That's like the best looking lure I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna use this one. <laughs> Hey, it's nice we got reverse working. Well, the plan was to come up here and we we're gonna shoot up to a, a far lake that we like to go fishing. We've seen some big pike in there and that was gonna be our fishing spot. But we just talked to our neighbors and unfortunately, they said that lake still has a bunch of ice on it. So we're gonna go up the little creek here, and go take a look, see what we're working with.
Well, that didn't pan out. We were hoping to catch a pike. We were hoping to catch a few pike actually <laughs> to bring back home. And also for tomorrow's dinner, we have something else in store for tonight. But I think we just got here too early in the year. Last time it was two, just two weeks later and the pike fishing was hot. Like we were catching dozens left and right. And we thought earlier better, you know what I mean? Right after breakup, but I guess it's just too early. The water's a little too cold and we've had no action. Eric's been out here for like an hour casting and casting and casting. Usually if they're not biting, they're not going to bite. It's just a little too early. We came out here in the fall. It was the same thing, just no action. So that just means we're gonna have to come back again for that monster. I'm gonna go backwards. What are you saying, we wanna do some big rates and such? We're making moose sandwiches for dinner and we're gonna pick some fresh greens to go with it. We've seen fiddleheads, watermelon berry shoots, and we saw a couple fireweed shoots. We weren't expecting to find them here. Back where we live, we still have like snow on the ground and nothing is sprouting. So we're gonna take advantage of this and we're gonna get some fresh veggies for dinner. Oh, there's another one there. These are good. Fireweed shoots. There's a fireweed, but it's just a real small little start. And this is a watermelon berry start. And these are these ones are extremely good. I love these ones. Oh, there's more. Checking out the outhouse again. We checked it out in the winter and we've pretty much known that we gotta build a new one. But we're doing that this summer. That's the plan at least. We got a, a bunch of logs at the house and uh, we're gonna cut them up with the sawmill. We're gonna haul them up here. And we're gonna build a new outhouse, but we're gonna disassemble this one and burn it. It's two by fours, it's one a by little fours. Small. It's small. It's nice. We though. should make it a little girthier now. Yeah, I think we will. I mean, this one held up. It did okay, until it fell. We should go. That's a fiddlehead fern and this turns into a big fern plant. And if you get them when they're still curled up like this, you gotta take this brown, like flaky papery skin off of them and you cook these up and these are extremely good. These are kind of hard to see right now because these are really early in the season and they're kind of underneath these leaves. But early in the season, these things taste the best. They're really tender. Okay, so here's a good example of the fiddlehead ferns that have gone a little too far. This one has already started to unravel and kind of make its little leaves. Those are, you could probably still eat them, but they, uh, they get a little like woody almost. And another thing with these is you don't want to eat them raw. I did one time and it sucked. You get a pretty bad stomach ache for like the rest of the night. So these ones are a little too far. Actually, that one's probably good, but the rest of these we're just gonna leave there.
We're not gonna pick too many of the watermelon berries. Those ones aren't my favorite cooked. They are really good raw. You can't eat them raw. And they literally taste like watermelon. They have a very melony essence. There's a little bug on this guy right here. We're just gonna probably lightly saute all this with a little bit of butter. I personally like the fiddleheads a lot and the fireweed shoots. They remind me of asparagus and they're really good. Just like a delicate green. down at the lake washing our greens and there's just so many plants going out here there's like raspberry plants roses growing uh, lots of lots of different flowers and other things thankfully what we're harvesting there's really not that many things that look alike there is something called a false hellbore and i guess it kind of could look like a watermelon berry shoot but they're much thicker and those are poisonous and then the fern that eric and i are harvesting is an ostrich fern so the only other fern out here i think is a lady fern and it looks entirely different. It grows quite a bit different. So there's really no confusion there. We're gonna get this all cleaned up. Usually I purposely don't pick as many of the fiddlehead ferns because they take a really long time to clean and you wanna get them really clean. The watermelon berry shoots and the fireweed, you can pretty much just eat those like off the ground, put some water on them, they're good to go. But these ones, let's see, getting the, getting the paper off of them. I mean, you really gotta, you gotta spend some time with them, but we're getting there. Awesome. Those are cleaned. And we're gonna cook dinner. We're trying to decide how we want to cook. We're either gonna do a campfire or when we bought this little cabin, there was a little tiny mini barbecue here that came with it. So I think I'm gonna pull that little thing out and see if it works. Yeah, look at that. It's got like little Lava rocks. Keep, keep the heat, maybe? Cool. We're barbecuing tonight. All right, I'm gonna turn that off, get it cleaned up. All right, well, we got ourselves a working little barbecue. This is gonna be awesome. Barbecued moose roast. So we're gonna do olive oil on there, salt and pepper. Bought Old Bay, because we were planning on eating fish. I don't know if we're gonna catch any of this trip, so I'm gonna put a little bit of this on there. Sear it on high heat, flip it, and then we're gonna put it on low and keep it covered. Maybe like 20 minutes, that's gonna be good. This is like the best thing, just sitting on the deck, again, to look at the lake. Even though there's like a lot of work involved coming out here to our little vacation cabin, but it's always really fun. It's really beautiful. Let this meat rest for a little bit. We're gonna cook up our greens. We got some butter. Put that on high. This little barbecue is awesome. Oh my gosh, look at all those. That looks good, like that. You want to do one at a time? That looks good. No? Sure. Okay. How? Like that. Let's do it. I don't know about that. Maybe oh. I should have separated those all the way. Here, I'll flip it in a second. Would that, like, be bad? 
Cut a piece off. Let's try it. Would that be bad if someone did that? No, I'm hungry. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. This one enable. Wow. That looks so good. Yeah. It's really good. Okay. We got this other one ready. What is it called? Uh, ferns. Got a little longer. How are you taking it? A lot of everything, yeah. looks so good. Let's make these sandwiches and eat. Here's yours, baby. Are the things ready yet? No? Yeah, we're ready to eat. That's hot. Gotta grab the thing. Meat. That's for tacos. No. These greens are so good. Just like asparagus. Well, it's small, it's a forest. Mm. You don't think so? Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, it's cool. well, it almost tastes like lemony to me. I like the lemon scent. Really like kind of charred broccoli. Mm -hmm. Cooked cook broccoli. You could eat that mosquito. He's so big. This is so good. Those caramelized onions are awesome on it, and we put a bunch of kefir cheese on there. And we are just going to enjoy the night, do what we always do, maybe play some games or something like that, and try to save that meat for breakfast tomorrow. Though so that's going to be hard to do. Stepping on. For sure that's the south, but then I was like, I knew what you meant. Dishes are done. One of the perks of coming out to the cabin in the summertime is it's 10 o'clock p.m. right now and it's still light out. So awesome coming out here in the summer and did some dishes. We're done for the night. We'll see you in the morning. Little baby. This is a little 12 year old baby. Sorry. <laughs> So funny. She thinks she has something for him. Time to get cozy for the night, huh? Look, look, he's cozy. He is cozy. Wept? Wept. Dang, that's pretty good though. You got four or five. It's a W, yeah. The last time we came here was January 11th. Zeet. Is that a word? Z E E T. I just think you really like to like make words up. Is it or not? Is that I a word? I don't think no? so. Zeke? It's like a cleaning product or something probably. No, it's not a real word. I don't think. What about Zeep? Remember we need a dictionary.
Did I do one extra? You did one extra. But I counted them like three times. I was like, what's going on here? It looked like there were seven in there. <laughs> I don't care. I'm gonna be uh, big ones, is okay? Mm -hmm. We got two cups of coffee or just one? Oh, just one, but I'm probably gonna make another one. Look at how beautiful those are. This one's your time. Cheers, baby. What do you think about this coffee? I think that I haven't drank any, and I think that I'm like extremely hungry. Can you tell about my eyes? <laughs> I'm really hungry. It's, it's really good coffee, but I don't know about world's strongest. Maybe I didn't brew it strong enough, but... That's pretty dang strong. You think it is? Pretty strong? It felt hard, but it didn't bother me because I was in so much pain. I was just like, I'm gonna I sit here like... and just... Sweat roast. I, I left the door open for like a good hour. I know. I know. I was like, wait, the door's open? <laughs> like open open. That's an old one right there. See the old see how it's old? It got stained over. And then this is a new. Like this. Well, we are up and out for the day, admiring the bear damage on the cabin. It's all old damage. And Eric and I had a plan to go fishing all day today, but that has changed because the fish are not active enough yet. So instead, we're just going to do a lot of work. Uh, we need to do a lot of things. I don't think we'll get to all of them. There's always wood that can be chopped. There's a lot of dead trees. We can cut some of those down if we have time. We want to get the outhouse taken down and probably something that's we do need to address is we want to have another trail. The trail coming up that we made originally when we came here is very steep and it is extremely to get up in the winter. It's hard to get up and it's also hard to get all our gear up. So we are going to pick a more gentle slope down to the lake. Yeah, I feel like we're here. There's plenty of room. Well, I'm just saying, yeah, no yeah, sense. No point in transporting it. Why Moving around. Do that? I agree. Where, uh, where looks like a good spot to burn it? Oh gosh. That floor in that corner right there? Yeah, it's rotten. Yeah, kick it and see. It's probably just completely rotten, right? The floor. Well, you could reuse some parts if you really wanted. I just... Oh, yeah. yeah. I'd say that's rotten. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the floor is, it's the, it's the contact of that earth. I just think that small piece, rather than buying a whole new section of, of plywood, Unless we're end up buying more plywood, then if that's fine, if that's the base, if that's the case, then so be it. You know. Well, the old outhouse is down. We're gonna, I think we're gonna burn that a little later this evening. And we've picked a new site for the outhouse. That one was kind of like down in a gully. So we're gonna put the new one up on top of that hill, kind of in the sun. You get a new, nice view of the lake and the ground is completely frozen solid right now. So we can't dig the hole for that yet. But the next project is one I'm actually kind of looking forward to. It's gonna come in pretty useful. And that is making a new path from the lake up to our cabin. It's extremely difficult to get things up here, so we're just gonna see if we can find a nice mellow path down there. So look, you got... You get through there? Well, let me think. So you got that slope right there. The only thing is that's gonna fill up quite a bit with snow, so we'll have to pack it down. I guess that would be helpful in the winter too, when everything's covered with snow, right? Or even dangle it off a branch or something so we can see it, you know? Excuse me. There we go.
I think we should probably try to avoid, you see that beautiful little green spruce growing straight ahead? Yeah. And that birch to the left? Yeah. But look, there's another spruce to the right, isn't there? You talking about kind of going and kind of curving maybe a little? Put that little one down right there, come through here, curve a little. <laughs> Gonna kind of come through here. Go through this nice healthy one to cut that dead one down. Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna cut it. Maybe. Yeah, I see you got that nasty. Yeah, we're gonna to to try to cut that birch first. We're making progress. The lake's right there. We're probably like 50 feet from it. it. Hasn't been too bad. We're mostly cutting brush. We are cutting down some dead trees. We had to take down one small live birch tree. But we're at a tr tricky spot here. We have a big birch tree that fell into a dead spruce tree and that's in our path. So I think I'm gonna try to work on that birch tree, see if we can get it off that spruce tree. And then we'll take that spruce tree down and we're pretty much there. Got it. Dang it. That's a, that tree was still alive. It was just like falling over. Yeah, I see that. He's see it has buds on it? Yeah, it's alive. That's good firewood. I hope we can get it out of this tree. Dang it. It's just sitting there now. <sighs> Nice. It's sitting still. Some big rounds, but just these are small and they're extremely heavy. That's like 40 pounds. In the exhaust. Oh my gosh, it lit on fire. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Are you putting it out with your spit? Well, yeah. Smokey the bear would do. <laughs>
Did I get that? Nope. Take a little break on the deck. We've got some iced tea and lemonade on ice. Delicious. And it's extremely warm today. It's, I don't have a thermometer outside, but I think it's cl probably close to 60 degrees. Things are going good down there. Came back. We're gonna mix up a little more gas for the chainsaw, but we're on the home stretch and our new path is looking amazing. It's gonna be awesome having it when it's done. I gotta make some too. Oh, it's good. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put the rest of this in the boat. it on our extra gas we've got one more full tank and a half a tank and that's more than enough to get back especially because on the way back we're a lot lighter and most of the way we are going with the current but we got the chainsaw filled up i got to go put a little bit of oil in there because it's a two-stroke and we're almost done with our little trail What they call this? What? A scrunch. A screw wrench. A screwdriver and a wrench. At least that's what I've heard. <laughs> screw. I think that's it. Well, for the most part, we got the main path cleared all the way down. This is freaking awesome. You could like drive a truck through this thing. And we're hanging up the surveyor's tape as we go up because in the winter, this place just completely changes and it's really hard to see your path. So we're marking a trail up all the way down to Lake. This is turning out awesome. Put one right here too. down at the lake taking another break this is kind of a cool grassy bank i'm gonna say and i don't know if it was cleared prior or if this is just like the natural landscape but it's it's a good area um, a nice smooth trail there is a beaver lodge down here so we're going to be mindful of that come winter time when we're coming up this direction but it's going to be awesome the plans to come up here in the winter pack it down and grab all of the wood that we are going to be cutting up or have cut up today it's really warm out here today i hate to be a complainer but it's like almost too hot for working it's obviously too cold to swim in my opinion and i flew our drone up and i saw that the ice is moving quite a bit from these upper lakes so we are going to venture up a little bit higher and just you know Maybe try fishing or something like that. Maybe we'll catch something for dinner. Maybe not though. <laughs>
This is awesome. We're trying to make it up to that lake and the ice is breaking up and it got jammed in this little creek and it's flooding it and we're waiting for this huge iceberg to flush out. It's almost there. Scared of America. Yeah, they're just not biting right now. Like, they refuse to bite. We've tried everything <laughs> spoons, crankbaits. I got the jawbreaker on now. They're just not biting, so it's all good. We'll come out here in a couple weeks, hopefully. Yeah, maybe longer. And we'll get them then. We gotta get out of here. That iceberg's gonna block us in, Ariel. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff on there. There's like a, like a whole uh, hay bale. Okay. That was a lot. That was a lot. All right, let's get out of this place. Yeah. Oh yeah, they do burn. They do burn. We'll just make a nice right does it? Plywood? Yeah. I think it does, honestly. Because it kind of looks like it is. See how it's so dark? Is that just from being maybe being super rotten? We're out here burning the pooper. Got this log that I was kind of getting rid of. The chainsaw is out of commission. My little uh, cap that we put the bar oil in, apparently I didn't screw it in all the way or it was loose and it is now lost in the forest somewhere. So I'm messing around with the machete and I found this little piece of chaga on this birch tree. And usually you don't find this on dead trees, but my guess is this tree was alive and then it fell and it had this little piece of chaga on there and you can make tea out of this. Like no, medicinal? no, look at, look at this. Yeah, it's rotten. It's rotten. Okay, that one's no good. Look at that. Juicing. Oh well, let it break down. You're gonna freaking do it, Ari. Right, you? here, you go first. No, you go first. I want to see if you do it. And what? If they win, what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I knew it was wooden, but I didn't know it was gonna break apart. Man, this game's over. This thing's made out of wood? Yeah, it's made out of wood. It's really weird. Okay, well, burn it then. Oh, yeah. oh look at the ducks. Oh, those are oh, seagulls. seagulls. Huh. Those hooligans are coming up soon, I bet. 
big old lady on you. Mosquitoes. She's yeah. checking you out. She's trying to get you. It'll be okay. It usually stops. It's, it's lighting the leaves on fire. It's so dry there. Well, it's time for a little dessert, and we have made canned bread before. Oh, canned zucchini bread, yeah. Canned zucchini bread, that's long gone. That was really good stuff. This is canned bread you can buy at the store. It's B&M brown bread. Brown bread. Original. <sighs> We're gonna make it a dessert. A little cream cheese and jelly. Bread in a can. Look at this old thing I found. I'm tempted to toast mine, but I may do that inside rather than over our fire. Oh, it had a seal. When we canned that bread a few years back, it was actually a lot better toasted, like reheated, yeah. rather than just... Out of the can. That was just my opinion, but this is professionally made, so commercially, <laughs> commercially made. Whole wheat flour. Whole kinds Molasses. of... Oh, is that what it is? There's directions on here for baking it or toasting it or what to do. It says cream cheese, peanut butter, jam, or cheese. Let's see if it... This smells like molasses. Too. Oh, they also said if you can't get it out this way, you gotta take that bottom. It's going through that one first. That's it. <laughs> it's good. It tastes a lot like a, it's like a, I don't know why I want to say like cinnamon raisin bread. Um, it just tastes a lot like the mat, the molasses. <laughs> I think it'd be really good toasted, honestly. I think it's going to be good with the cream cheese. Any good? Mm -hmm. The cream cheese is really good. Did you try the bread just by itself? No, but no. I can totally taste bread. Does it taste like a gingerbread man? Like a soft gingerbread man cookie? Yeah, like an unsweet gingerbread cookie. That's really good. It doesn't taste like regular bread at all. It tastes like a like a spicy, like a spiced cake. I didn't care for the bread just itself that much, but I like it with this combination. No, like just try this the bread. This is delicious. But just try the bread itself. It's really good with what we just did, or you did. That was that's my opinion. This, hey, this, is good. this is good like this. Yeah. Do you remember when, when we first came here for one night? Oh my gosh. I was just saying there was so much cleaning up to do. That was, was an just, exhausting was... trip. We made though, right? But remember too, not only was it really cold, the wood stove really didn't work that well. Well, you know what I mean. It wasn't set up. Okay, we're just gonna take it easy for the rest of the night, watch this fire, and tomorrow we have to take off. Hopefully we can come back and return for more work and fish.
Where you go, Pop? Papa, let's go. Get to the boat. Close my hand. Another cabin trip in the books. This was a fun one. Wasn't sure if we were gonna make it here, but I'm glad we did. But we still gotta make it home. And we got 60 miles on the river. Probably about a three hour ride. Getting the dogs with their sweaters and their life vests because as soon as you hit that river, it gets chilly. Oh my gosh. What? It flew two inches from my face. <laughs> the black two ones? Two inches. One of the black ones, I think. They're a ballsy. Huh? Like right in between here, between both of us. You didn't see it because you were looking down. You ready? You want me to untie it? Yeah, uh, and I throw that rope in here. Your shoes are right here. Okay, everything's... I think we're good. We're solid? We're good. I'm pulling Austin Powers. <laughs> You're gonna have to go backwards or something. Oh no. There we go. <laughs> okay.
Yeah, but if it spins us backwards, 